<laughs> that was weird, but okay. Let's go with a firm 160p. On 160p. Hey, how's it going, Cave? Jesus, that was a horrifying noise. Can I kill y'all yet? You not grown up? Wonder if I just poured lava right on them. In theory, I should get cooked product, right? In theory, even it out. It's a pretty jank setup. I need to find a way to fix this. I could put them on top of a slab. Yeah, I could put them on top of a slab. And then if I put a hopper underneath, that would pretty much solve that problem. Slab would have to be lava proof. Well, for now, we're just gonna murder them. And because I'm lazy, oh, I'm actually gonna need to open the land. Because the TP does not work without it. Go. How far are we from main base? Probably about a thousand blocks. Nothing really much I can do there. I find out what the what the large like. How do I bring up a large map with Zaros? Oh shit! I need the Zaros world map in order to use that. Okay. Whoops. That's so interesting. Okay, um, well, we're not about to download a mod. I will say that right now. I will, but not, I'm not downloading a mod this second. It seems excessive. 
Oh, that's that. We're all set up. Need to remake a shield. Do I still have iron with me? Might be my chest. What the hell? Skeleton's cheating. He's got water breathing. Assume that I would have had like a chest around here somewhere. Let's try and limit the amount of mobs that we're gonna have spawning in this area. Go. Need probably one more here. Uh, and somewhere around here, we're gonna need one as well. trying to go caving without a shield let's go ahead and get ourselves a shield you don't have a shield well how are we gonna go caving then Down to the strip mine real quick, see what's going on down there. Really, one piece of iron. It's technically all we need for a shield, but that sucks. Um that really sucks. Gonna have to find a surface cave. Not you. No coal down here either? I'm slack kick. What the heck was I doing last episode? Not even coal there. What the heck? Hey, Neymar. Oh, I guess I gotta get some coal. That's because my stream setup is wrong right now. I tried to...
There we go. Oh, it's because my kick title doesn't update automatically. That's really weird. I'm finding out new things. Yeah, it also says Apex. That's interesting. So Streamlabs does not automatically update my kick info. Where do I even change that? I don't even know how to change it. Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm learning. Or it is gas heavy gameplay. What do you mean? Top tier. Top tier gas daddy. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Bunch of coal right here. Munch a bunch of crunch and munch. Maybe you just don't know, maybe you just don't know good gas daddy gameplay when you see it, Nightmare. trying to beat you up sir but at the same time I kind of am who put that stupid drop right there To start working on an iron farm like i really need to start working on an iron farm but i don't do things simple which means i need about 102 pieces of obsidian is there an abundance of cows near me Okay, so if I remember correctly, that village is pretty trash. I kind of want to go due south in order to explore new new territory. South by southeast. That way. I think we have what we need. I feel like we have what we need in order to go and kill some blaze. Let's go, let's go get more food. And then I think we're gonna go and kill some blaze. This, chat, there we go. There we go, now I have everything set up. Use three of my diamonds to make an axe, probably. I think we do.
Ups. I was eating mutton. Whoops. Mutton but net. Forty cooked pork chops. It's actually really good. two options here. We can go through the nether, which is literally just digging a tunnel for hundreds of blocks at a time, place a portal, see where we are, restart. Which is actually kind of a bad option on an amplified biome, because nine times out of ten we're going to end up on a cliff. Inside of a cliff, I should say. Let's go back up to surface and then let's just start surface traveling. It also saves us a lot of effort on mining. Oh, replanter automatically knows which one needs to be replanted. I like that. I have to lure a couple more pigs in there if I can. It's okay, we'll do that later. Means we could just pop over to the blaze spawner real fast. Um... Hi, John. She's a grumpy girl today. No, she had lots of daddy cuddles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of knew that was coming. Sad. I puke. I guess. She had like 30 minutes of rollies on my chair this morning. She's like, whoa. What it was what is with all those kisses? I'm sorry. <laughs> Makes sense. Truly. I truly only need to put electronics in, in so many places. Just non existent iron. It's cool. I didn't want any. You piece of shit. Trash noob, hit your explosions. It's iron esque. Oh, Jesus Christ. I fucking know. Probably.
Wow. Really? One iron? Amazing. So glad I put the effort in. Incredible. Yeah. Okay. This looked like a pre-dug path. It's not, it's just terrain generation of lava flow. That's super interesting. Yeah. generated like this there's this is no way like very very odd terrain generation amplified biomes always does that though like it always ends up with the absolute strangest terrain trying to trying to decide if i should just murder these pigs i think we do it we do it Never heard to have extra pork chops. Nope, not a bed. Need a boat. Cows. This is intense cliffing in order to just kill cows. But there's ocean right here, and that is huge. Gives us the opportunity to do two things: find an ocean biome, a uh, deep ocean biome, to find a ocean monument. It also gives us free access to new biomes, so we can go and find diamonds and things like that very quickly. Where I'm not just surrounded by deep dark, I can actually get a good cave. All right, cow, you need to die. Sleep before we end up getting club. Not good. No cave. You're a bad cave. than that. All right, to our left over there is actually deep ocean, so we'll go check that out after this shipwreck.
Uh, doors, 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 doors. No, no doors. Okay. Uh. What don't I need here? Uh, random arrow, rotten flesh, trash. Bunch of carrots and paper. Gunpowder, I don't need. Suspicious stew, also don't need. The trash. Okay, moving on. And then the second chest is usually somewhere around here. Oh, that's the first chest. Is this one only a one chest? The one chest of shipwreck? Looks like it, just one chest. Oh, that's really sad. All right, moving on. Whoops. A monument right now. That's an underwater temple thing. This is regular ocean. I need deep ocean. We're essentially going to use as we're going to generate as much terrain with this ocean as we possibly can in a straight line. We're trying to limit how much we actually see that isn't ocean here because we have access to pretty much every other biome already. So we're going to cut right and see if we can keep going through ocean here because that's all biome. The heck is all this? Is there all this kelp? Interesting. Somebody just kelp me out. Or motion that we're going into. Um. 
Alright, we're 2,500 blocks away from spawn right now. A little bit closer to 3,000 blocks, actually, but... Show me even more ocean right on the other side of this. Was that a Enderman? Briefly thought I saw an Enderman right there. Okay. Two cows in the whole area, not really worth it. Interesting. It looks like our water transit is about to come to an end here. Cave says hydrate. Uh, I don't even have a water bottle here. It's all the way in the bedroom. Get it in a moment. Drink seawater. Water travel was over, but we're actually doing good right now. Um, screw it. Let's see what this brings us. I see an underwater ravine that I'm kind of interested in as well. And we always murder large amounts of cows. Never, never don't murder large amounts of cows. So, Rule of thumb in Minecraft. Except these cows are refusing to drop me leather because they are pieces of shit. Leather. There you go. Just gotta yell at them. Surface stalagmites is to be a very interesting concept. I would also love to find a cold ocean biome. But it probably won't happen today. I have 33 minutes. I would be con Sorry, brother. It's my bad now. <laughs> Bold of you to think I care. You trade me 22 carrots for an emerald and you'll take one emerald for a loaf of bread? You're a ripoff. It's questionable trade tactics, sir. 
Well, that was a pretty bad village, not gonna lie. Cool stopping in, we'll catch you guys later. Yeah, 33 minutes until I have to go to work. Oh, and I'm killing your cows. I just gotta go to work, 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 work. Cause no one's gonna pay my bills, bills, bills. Oh, your trash, bro. Aim in the swamp. Is she? No, I'm just kidding. Probably you. But she doesn't get days off. I already told him this. She's off today. What? Tell him to get back to work. Or a slacker. Can't believe they gave Fishy a day off. Cows! Thank you. Don't make me farm leather, just give it to me. Thank you. No, don't hit the bees, don't hit the bees. I just had like smell PTSD. All I could smell was fryer oil. That was a weird experience in my life. leather is that 17 and we need 45 looks like more water coming up over here perfect let's get to that water and then we'll spend some of this last time that we have traveling today <laughs> Hills, or is this just a regular windswept cake? Okay. It's a little impossible to tell what's an extreme hills nowadays. Well, at least with amplifieds. Okay, we got some more cows over here. Can we get through the mountain this way? Yeah, we can. That is what I love about Amplified and the new terrain generation is so many of these little crevices become... Ooh. Oh, you're a skeleton with a bow. I thought you were an enderman. Tragic. 
Uh, so many of these skeletons become or so many of these little cliffs, caves, and crevices become actual ways through mountains. Holy English hard. Boating. I'm gonna end up with the leather before I'm gonna end up with anything else, which is actually fine with me. I need enchantments yesterday. The faster I can get enchantments, the faster I can go and start mining for Obby to get my uh, iron farm off the ground. Like a one layer iron farm will literally work for single player needs. Ow! Watch this three for one that's about to happen. Bitches! Oh, there's only a two for one. I lied. Kill the creeper for me. Tag team! Shit. I got this. Oh my god. A little bit laggy in that cave, anyways. I'm gonna just peel out of there. There's a lot of freaking skeletons. Probably a dope cave system, but with the amount of skeletons right there. Not about it. <clears throat> Crazy amount of skeletons. I'm very particular about what I look for in amplified biomes as well. So when you, if you see me wandering literal thousands of blocks trying to find a place to build, you're probably like, wow, Cactus, you're pretty, you're pretty picky. I am, I'm very picky. I am looking for a sprawling mountain vista with a large space in between two mountain peaks so I can build a platform. Oh, that's pillagers, that is pillagers, that's pillagers, that's pillagers, that's pillagers. I'm not ready for that yet. I'm just here to murder horses. Don't mind me. leather and he's 16 more
Actually, swap doors with carrots. We don't really need carrots in our inventories. Put all tools there. Sleep quickly, skip the night. Go kill these cows for more leather, and potential for more leather. Yes, let's go. If I can get 45 leather before I leave today, when I come back, I can just farm. I can just, I can just farm sugar cane and carrots. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. Oh, there's an ender boy down there. We're gonna have to go kill that ender boy. Where are you, ender boy? Looks like you're down here in this cave. No, you're on the other side. Two ender boys. Where are these ender boys at? Are they up? Are they up in that cave? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, he's still there. He's still there. There's somewhere around here. I feel like at this point, I'm probably better just going to the nether and finding Enderman there. Or at least finding a desert. Like a desert at nighttime would probably solve most of these problems. Drummo! All right, it looks like we can wrap around this cliff just over here on the right, uh, east by southeast. And Maybe we could find a little bit more sugar cane along the way. Yes, we can. I can find 64 sugar cane. I only have to wait for two growth cycles. That is also a pillager outpost. Sweet. Not ready to deal with that, honestly. We'll pass through this not gate looking place over here. Looks like that gets us back to some ocean. Yeah, like right here. Sweet. This is actually, this should be good. This should get us. Okay, so we're trying to head out this way. Lots of birch forest, lots and lots of birch forest. Pretty crappy terrain, Jan. Uh, shipwreck. We definitely could pop in here and try to find some diamonds. Whoa, double shipwreck? A ruined nether portal under the water. <clears throat> ruined nether portal, wow, okay. Interesting. This one's nice enough to come equipped with the door. There's a way to find the buried treasures quickly, but I'm so fucking bad at it that I don't even think it's worth it. I'm just gonna skip it. Not worth it for me. 
east by southeast. I know there's something you can do with F3 in order to find which one is like, which one is the treasure chest, but I'm not about to do that. Uh, dark oak mushroom, or mushroom, not mushroom. More dark oak. Dark oak usually ends up with pretty interesting terrain gen in Amplified. always looking for ocean monuments in early game Minecraft. I never take them on early game, but... Another shipwreck, but I'm looking for ocean monuments. hit here is where we're gonna pop is where we're gonna pop off how would an underwater nether portal even work like it wouldn't because water breaks nether portals is actually pretty close to what I'm looking for. This is actually really close to what I'm looking for. I might have just found the build spot. This side's pretty shit, but I want to explore this other side more. I wish I had a light tree right now. Obviously, I could do it with creative, but I'm not trying to do that right now. I could do the spec. This looks really nice. I'm liking this alcove in between this and this peak, and then this, especially this. I want to see what's going on in the middle of these two mountains. I really like that area over there too. Even if we build up on the higher points, it's gonna be a lot of terraforming, like a ridiculous amount of terraforming, but good builds are worth it. deep dark which means we're just gonna have to strip mine again I am definitely liking what I see
not digging the fact that there's a random pillager up there, but I like this. I like this a lot. Oh yeah. We're probably gonna have to take out like all of that. We're gonna have to take out this entire center chunk. This could be a, a really, really interesting build spot. Here, let's do this. I have cheats enabled. I wanna just see this in its full glory. Oh, it's sexy. Oh, it's actually sexy. Oh my goodness. And we have a jungle right here for infinite wood. It's actually incredible. Wow. And is that a cave that just goes down? No way. Oh my goodness. This is perfect. I wish this cave system was a little bit different, but like, oh my God. Doesn't look like there's much else for other caves around here. That's okay, honestly. I can deal with that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is over here? This is my favorite type of cave. Ah, oh, they're really narrow. They're the staircase style caves, that's unfortunate. That's okay. That's okay. Honestly, just this build area alone up here has me very, very, very excited. That's, wow. Yeah, this is just a fascinating building area. Is this the very, very top of a pillager outpost? Like, what is going on right here? It's exactly what it is. It's just a buried pillager outpost. That's kind of cool, though. We could, like, we could raid it, kill the pillagers, and then just break some of it down, make it look like abandoned pillager tower, like we conquered it a long time ago. Yeah, I'm impressed with this. I am really, 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 really happy with this. This is my style of building area right here. It's gonna take a long time, but this whole bottom cave will get terraformed. This will get terraformed, this little vista here, uh, or the viewpoint. 
this, uh, I'll probably leave this alone, honestly. This part will all get flattened and brought up or down to level. Like all of this. This area is, this area is incredible. <clears throat> This is an area I could spend years building in in Minecraft. Especially this mountain over here. The way this mountain rises up. Like I'm thinking evil wizard's castle with snow capped peaks. Tower coming up over here, up into the sky. It'll start somewhere down below. I can probably just literally remove most of this and turn it into the base of the tower. I am digging this. There's so much room. A lot of room for expansion. Into a plains area, really? Okay. Yep. Yep, I just found where we're building. 100%. Oh yeah. Yep, this is going to satisfy my ADHD for sure. I could start projects all over the place here. There's a lot to work with. Oh, what is that mountain in the back? No, doesn't interest me. Doesn't interest me. All right, that's cool though. I like this spot. I really like this. Super interesting. Okay, so I was over there. I was in the little clearing. I'm just gonna place a marker down. Such a cool area. <laughs> Mob proofing this is gonna be a interesting task. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and despawn all these mobs. We have room out here for really cool port style ideas as well. Just a mangrove entrance. Damn, mangrove caves are just awesome looking.
Tragic. It's okay, though. Honestly, you could do, like, a hidden cave exit that takes you out through this cave to, like, a secret port that's just a small dock that you have some redstone contraption hiding away, like, a whole water system right here. That would be what I do. Or just have it be like your kingdom's escape port where like it's just literally everything important happens up here but then you go through the caves and you go out that back mangrove and exit. It'd be like a dingy secret passage where the, the thing is made of like dirt and held up by brick supports. Forgot to despawn the enemies. Can only do that by going into creative mode for a moment. So. The reason we're doing this all live is so that you guys can understand that, like I'm not actually doing anything behind the scenes when I do that. I'm not going into creative and adding items or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just literally going into creative and despawning enemies. Uh, where's the cave entrance? I'm so confused. Oh, it's up. Oh, except they didn't despawn. Why? Did I jump scare you? Yeah, I bet I did. You coward. You make me sick. Your weakness is pathetic. Fucking Christ! Dear God. All right, thanks for the heart attack before I just can tell oh my goodness. God oh, damn. Fuck, Moist's jump scare gets me so much harder than the regular jump scare does. Oh my goodness. Whew. Oh, I hated everything about that. Oh my goodness. Okay. We had to have despawned by now. I guess we just fall into the ocean. Get into our boat. Jesus Christ. I'm scared. I forgot that I added all blurps to my uh, list, so that's available. <laughs> Disgusting, because probably not. The sale price of the hotel. Oh, the sale price of the hotel? Yeah. Uh, uh, sure. Let's see it. Okay, here. I get it though because th th their asset price divided by their total number of assets is roughly $42 million. <laughs> it says uh, the hotel division is releasing an industry update this week that showed the sales of hotel assets are up by 70% to $335 million in the first three months of this year. Uh, the wow. Western sale worked out to $235,000 per door, much higher than the national average of $150,000. Isn't that crazy? $125,000 per door. What, what is your what is your ROI that you you are going to get enough return to pay $225,000 a door? Like how many days do you need to fill that door? Like that's some that's some actually some interesting math that I would like to do. 
right at about two dollars, two hundred dollars a night, and then you know maybe they pay for extra packages and blah blah blah. And blah, blah, blah. so, so you say like an average stay in a hotel is two hundred twenty-five dollars. You'd have to pay for a thousand nights. You'd have to be booked for two and a half years. Well, actually, that's not that bad. Three and a half years. So, which means you're you're probably going to pay for your investment in five years. That's pretty good. Like you'll you'll one hundred percent make your investment back because not all of your rooms are going to be full. Yep. Certain times of the year your rooms are more expensive. Certain times of the year your rooms are less expensive. But honestly, yeah, about about five years to in order to pay for each room. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. So you're a math person and uh... Yeah, I, I'm actually I like that. Um, Yeah, that's actually, it's very interesting that they did that in public with it as well. But that, like I said, it makes total sense. They're, that is the exact price of their asset right now. Is they are paying $42 million for, for a hotel type asset. And this is one of their first hotels with an actual restaurant. So that makes sense for them. That's crazy though. We're in the wrong fucking business. Right? Need to build up that first investment, buy a small property, flip it, and then get a fucking down payment in a loan large property. It's like, what do you think about that? Like, what? Well, you pay for a car for seven years. <clears throat> You pay for a hotel for seven years. So fucking expensive. Yep. That's because at early on, everyone was like, "Yeah, real estate value." And it's like, okay, yeah, but uh, he's. I'm really not enjoying the amount of creepers that are right below me. And that's kind of always been the case, but it's wild. But like, we encourage people to have a lot of kids around because it was like, well, it benefit the workforce, and we need to grow the workforce, and blah 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 blah. It's like, uh, it's not really a good idea. <laughs> and now you have a now you have a complacent workforce that really needs to be cut down, right? Literally, we need to cut down on the workforce. That's like, okay, great. Yep. Until we come to a conclusion as a society where we can sustain everybody if we're all working together towards goals that are civilization based, not monetary based. They're like you can still have moments of downtime and free time and these industries can still exist, but like it's much more refined, you know? You'd like have you ever noticed that a video game about the future or any other sort of like dystopian society has has video games, but it has one, or it has like two. Because in a society like that, there would be video games, there, but there would be like three developers, because there's not a massive need. There's an unbelievable amount of mobs down here. I need to start putting down some torches. I think we kill this Enderman and then we call it a day here.
Zombie reinforcement shit's pissing me off. <laughs> Did my man just actually fucking take four hearts off me with a, a shovel? Like, I get it, it's an iron shovel, but wow. Chill, brother. Sleep with mobs that close, it's kind of wild. Is my no no spray. Hey, drop me a pearl. Let's go. Spread of this later, but for now, I'm just trying to get the torches down so I can walk away from this area and everything do spawn. I'm just working peace for a little bit. Ooh, another indie boy. We're going. Where did you go? Yeah, Johnny, we're gonna go. You're a very good girl, though, baby. You're so good today. Even though you're big, you're big angry. I know. I I hear your anger. All right. Popping off for the day. We got at least a little bit of what we needed to do done. Call that a day, but gotta, gotta go to work. Peace out for now. Much 